नमस्ते सिंधरा दीदी एम आई रीचिंग यू जी हां नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते दीदी सो डॉक्टर एच एन चंद्रगला दीदी शी इज अ प्रोफेसर एंड हेड इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री कल्पतरु इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी तिप्तूर कर्नाटक शी कंप्लीटेड हर यूएसवी इंट्रोडक्टरी वर्कशॉप इन अक्टूबर 2022 एंड यूएसवी 2 इन फेब्रुवरी 2023 she started attending the morning session from the 6th batch onwards so with this brief introduction i welcome didi to give her sharing in the morning session didi over to you thank you thank you bhaiya thank you for introducing me uh, namaste shamila didi namaste sunil kumar bhaiya namaste to all very good morning to all uh, i am dr h n chandrakala working as a professor and aide in the department of chemistry uh, regarding about my family my family is staying in a my working place tiptur my husband r rashekar is a commerce graduate doing agricultural in our native place which is 55 kilometers away from tiptur my daughter monisha yeraj she is doing a data science course at bangalore i started my uhv journey with the uhv introductory online workshop in october 2022 until this day i am connecting with the uhv through this morning session my self exploration was started through this morning sessions in the beginning i was able to observe only the thoughts later i developed my competence to see my feeling and my sanskar in this batch i am working with my sanskar earlier i had a feeling that i am a good person always i do the things i do the good things i can take the decision better than other this nature made me to interfere with the other decision in the family and in working place it causes more and more discomfort in the family nowadays i am not interfere with the other decision and put my opinion in the form of a proposal even if they are accept or not accept most of the time i am not disturbed and another sanskar is if there is any difference of opinion earlier i kept myself silent and not openly discuss with them it disturbed me a lot uh it develops a conflicting thoughts and feeling and it creates a disharmony within me for a several days and and it continue for a, a week like that nowadays i openly discuss with the good relation last week my colleague asked my permission to attend the conference for one week in bangalore this is the semester peak period so i told him to attend the conferences or a workshop in the sem hen holiday stay so that it is not affect for our academic and also we can complete the syllabus in a right time so he accept my proposal and he, he replied it's okay ma in earlier if in i gave the different meaning to that in the same, for the same proposal in earlier and also one more sanskar is if i did any mistake in the family i said sorry to my spouse and my daughter but i was repeat the same many times it was created a bad impression on me for example i was not came to the home in a right time even though i told them i am coming uh for the uh, house right time and we are we have a plan to go outing or some other work sometime i forgot my promise so because of situation or something else this attitude of mine creates a bad impression in the family she is neglecting the family members she give the more important for her profession when i look back my behavior i was not done that intentionally this is 
due to my incompetency to handle my professional life and personal life from this i clearly understood that real meaning of the trust in the relationship nobody do the wrong things intentionally it is due to their incompetency only another sanskar is i was emotionally breakdown if anything happens to me are my loved ones i disturb others in that time and also i stayed in discomfort mode for a longer period nowadays i can able to handle such situation more responsibly try to find the solution for the problem last month i went to tirupati trip with my brother's family while coming back at tirupati bus stand my brother's son of 10 year old was missing for a while we searched in all around i went to the bus bus stand office i i told about the tc and informed the situation i make an announcement in the mai and after 15 minutes later we able to find him similarly if any health issues for the family members are for me i think about the solution for the problem nowadays i am not immersed in the problem and another sanskar i notice i pr- surprised to know that i prepared the food with more attention which i like most rather than others and also nowadays i clearly see i am not plan too much about for the things which i want to purchase compare compared to earlier the great understanding from uhv is human being is a coexistence of cell and the body the cell use the body as a tool cell i wish to live with continuous happiness i experience the state of happiness in most of the time and able to distinguish the state of happiness and the excitement my understanding of exercise 1 and 2 exercise 1 observing the self by the self i can able to observe my desire thought expectation and feeling feeling behind the thoughts but i can't be a pure observer all the time i flow with my thoughts last week my husband got severe fever and cold during that period i observe my thoughts how to take care of him what kind of food i has to prepare shall i take a leave for two days but at the same time i am little bit lagging in the coverage of syllabus how to manage that also later i decided to take a leave in the two days in the afternoon time so that i take care of him and also complete my emergency work in the college this decision is in line with my natural acceptance i feel comfortable in that time i also observe that most of the time my imagination is about my daughter career and the future like as a mother how can i help her and also i notice that most of the time my thoughts are drifting and in step 2 observe the feeling which are naturally acceptable to me in the last week i gave a problem to solve in the class for the students i started to verify the answer some of the students solved rightly i felt happy some did a mistake i rectify their mistake i observe myself i am comfortable i saw two students who were not writing in chemistry notebook solving the problem in the chemistry notebook they are writing in a rough workbook and at the last page i told him to write in the notebook and show it in the next day they i observe my feeling i am not feeling happy i have an opposition feeling it is due to that is 
not follow my words not giving the weightage to my subject i differentiate him with respect to me so my feeling is not naturally acceptable to me like that moment to moment my feeling is change and it depends on my decision step 4 who decide the feeling who is responsible for my happiness i myself decide the feeling i myself responsible for my happiness and her happiness i can see this step with this example i have a lower back pain when i express this problem with my spouse sometime he reply like who told you to do the hard work remove work it is your problem i feel very sad if i give the meaning for this statement like i did all my work for the betterment of my family but these people are not understanding me this decision is not in line with my natural acceptance so i had an opposition feeling i am unhappy suppose if i understood that there is a disharmony in the body so i should take care of that is not help for the it then i feel comfortable here my happiness is in my hand it mainly depends on the meaning i gave for the external person response this is my gray area earlier i was suffer with my decision when i contemplate on this no one told me to do the work the way in which i am doing it is all depends on my competence and lack of understanding within me to maintain the good relation maintaining the time etc step 5 basis of making decision is either understanding either the right understanding or assumption nowadays i observe that most of my decision with my right understanding so i feel comfortable in those moments but not always sometime my decision is based on my precondition and assumptions day before yesterday my daughter told me that she will come to tiptoe so i called her she is not pick the car i text her and not get a reply from her for some time i observe my feeling i had an opposition feeling because here my decision is based on my assumptions precondition because earlier when i oppose her decision and give a suggestion to change her attitude she is irritating she is avoiding me nowadays this kind of incidences are gradually reduced but that precondition drive my thought that she is avoiding me or avoid to talk with me so i disturb for a moment later actually she was called me and told me that she went outside for her friend's birthday celebration so she thought to reply to my call later this is how this is how some decision which are on the basis of my assumption made me unhappy these exercises helping me to understand her in a better way earlier i told her to change her lifestyle by point outing her mistakes for example she had an habit of not get up early in the morning not eating right time use a mobile for a longer period all these are point outed and told her not to do so she is irritating with my words not obey my words also both are feeling unhappy by the time nowadays i accept my i accept her as it is i change my attitude i put my 
opinion as a proposal. I can also see that sometimes I am not also disturbed if she reject my proposal. Earlier, I thought it was my failure, so my suffering was more because I am not ready to accept my failure or a mistake. Nowadays, I can able to see my competency level, my competent level along with her competency. Feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable to me. I able to see the feeling of relationship with all. This feeling is naturally acceptable to me. I am happy. One month back, my colleague was applied for his promotion. As a head of the department, honestly, I recommended him for the promotion. But due to some college rules, this proposal was kept for pending. So he was disturbed a lot, not ready to do the department work. I observed my feeling that time. I am not comfortable. I am not in a relationship because I am not accept his incompetency. I doubt his intention. After a day, my thoughts were changed. Yes, he was disturbed because his expectations were not fulfilled. So, he expressing his disharmony in this way. What I am doing? I am also in disharmony, but I am not expressing outside. I should not do like that. Then I feel comfortable and I console him with a good relationship. Now we are working together comfortably. I cannot say I understood coexistence fully, but I can see my existence is there with the support of other units and other existence like nature and other human being. Means all units survive or exist with the support of other units. Exercise 2. Observing the self and the body, interaction between them in space by the self. Step 1. I am there, I exist. The body is also there, the body exists. I can observe the activity of self, like desire, thoughts, feeling, expectation. So, I exist. I can see my body through the sensations. So, the body is also exist. Step 2. I transact the information with the body from time to time when required. I am not using the body always. When I want to do some activity, I transact with my body through the information. When I sit for a meditation, I am not involved in any physical activity, means not use the body. Suddenly, when I heard the calling bell sound, this sound is an information. This information read by the self. The self give the meaning that someone is standing outside and waiting. The self give the information to the body to move and open the door. Body execute. Here, the self transact with the body when it needs means time to time only. Step 3. I am the one who decide what transaction are to be passed to the body and what sensation are to be read from the body. When I am teaching in the class, I observe the student's facial expression to know whether they understood the content or not through my eye, eyes. But that time, the self read only the facial expression that is the sensation, the information because it is significant for me at that time. There are so many things are there in front of me. The way in which the students are dressed up and others. But I see only their facial expression. 
and give the meaning to the sensation that the students are understood that step. Self decide to speak the next step and give the instruction to that body to speak. Suppose for their expression gives the meaning that not understood. Self decide to repeat the same one more time or try to explain the step with another example. Here I self decides what instruction are to be passed to the body and what sensation are to be read from the body. I also want to say here, I want to men mention that I can observe that interaction between the self and the body as an information. I have to develop my competence to see this transaction through the space. Step 4. I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body. Last week, I travelled in a train to Bangalore. I sit continuously for three hours. I observe the body sensation. My lower back is in disharmony. I observe that and also observe the hunger sensation. Also read the sensation that is a smell of tiffin and tea, etc. From outside the environment. If I am in the sensation, I cannot able to observe the other sensation in the body at the same time. So, I am not in the sensation. I am not the sensation also. From this, I can able to see that there is a distance between the cell and the body. Step 5. My interaction with the body and outside world by the way of sensation. I read the sensation by the decision and give the meaning to the sensation. If I want to know what event is going on outside the world, I have to use my body sensory organs. If someone is singing a song in front of me, I came to know it by seeing through my eyes and hear the song or the sound through my ear and give the meaning the person is singing a song joyfully. Similarly, where I am standing or sitting, what I am eating, what I am wearing, all can I know by the sensation only. So, these sensations are important for me to understand the outside world. Step 6, A and B, whether I am react or respond to the sensation occur outside the event or inside the body is depends on meaning by attaching to the sensation. In the last, in the month of August 2023, I was resigned for the post of hostel water. At that time, everybody appreciated my work and convey their wishes also. I feel happy by listening their appreciation and came to hope. After about two weeks, I flow with my imagination only about the hostel, the past incidences which are favorable for me and some bitter incidences also. And I observe that I am not happy. This sadness is due to I identified with the post. I cling on the Cling on to the people appreciation, respect, salute. Here, I have an assumption that outside person appreciation, salute, gives an happiness to me. But it is not true. I cling on the taste of the same sensation. I react. So, I became very sad. Expecting the appreciation from other to feel happy is my sanskar. I also noticed that whenever I have a dream about my future work or project, 
it is ended with the someone appreciation and recognition of my work i notice that this is my deep rooted sanskar i have to work more to overcome this sanskar but i observe that i am not reacted ex- with the external environment changes like a cold weather rain or etc i respond to this i respond to this uh, outside situation most of the time the step 7 presently i am not able i am not clearly able to see the last step i understood that happiness is my innate nature but i am not able to be happy continuously because i am not harmony when my expectations are not met and when my decisions are not in line with my natural acceptance to get out of from the conflicting thoughts i search the favorable sensation from outside like watching movies eating tasty food etc to ensure my innate nature of my happiness my program is to explore myself with the uhv content and continue my journey with the uhv family presently i am focusing more time on my self i am not spend much time on the body regulation but i do half an hour walk regularly and pranayama if the time available craving of eating a sweet and spicy food is little bit reduced and also i notice i purchase the things which are more essential to me currently i am spending average of 2 hours per a day for my right understanding but i am not doing much social responsibility that is a volunteer work but i am involved in the canada team i will uh, take more responsibility in the future days to handle my family and outside environmental situation i need to develop my right understanding with this uhv content i would like to thank all my dear co explorer your questions and experiences helped a lot to me and my sincere pranam to sharmila didi kumar bhaiya sunil kumar bhaiya and all uhv team members for your guidance and support thank you thank you one and all uh, may i request sharmila didi to give uh, her comments regarding uh, the sharing sharmila didi over to you जी नमस्ते चंद्रकला जी नमस्ते जी नमस्ते इट्स वाज वेरी नाइस टू हियर योर शेयरिंग एंड इवन अर्लियर सिंस द टाइम यू हैव जॉइंड आई थिंक ओकेजनली यू डू शेयर एंड आस्क क्वेश्चंस एंड पार्टिसिपेट एंड इट इज वेरी ऑब्वियस फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ दैट दैट द एक्सप्लोरेशन is going on within you and you are able to see the significance you are able to see the changes in your behavior and you are also able to see the feeling within you changing yeah i did and the comfort that you feel when the feeling is naturally acceptable so i think it's a very commendable thing that in this short span of little over a year you have been able to see all this and uh, of course as we mentioned many more things will unfold within you as you keep doing this practice of the exploration so the exercises may be over in the sense that we have gone over the steps but really truly to understand each step it will take more time Yeah. So I just wanted to draw your attention to when we say sanskar. Mm-hmm. So um, you have referred to certain activities, your behavior, and say 
you know, that this is because of my sanskar. Mm -hmm. so sanskar is little deeper than that. Mm -hmm. If we see that, you know, and even when you say, I'll come to uh, feeling also later, but mm -hmm. you know, when the when we talk of sanskar, mm -hmm. something that we have assumed over time, again and again, repeatedly, that assumption becomes deeper and deeper within us. And it is so um, deeply ingrained that unconsciously also it seems to drive the feeling. We are not yeah. aware what it is, but it is driving the feeling. So in fact, it is more subtle than the feeling. Right? Hmm. When you are talking about activity outside, I am hmm. not saying it just for you, I am saying for everybody. Hmm. So when we talk of activity outside, the expression of that may be a habit. And hmm. Hmm. so we get habituated to getting angry. We get habituated to becoming anxious. So this anxiety, this feeling of opposition when you are angry, all of these are your feelings that are not naturally acceptable to you. But behind this anxiety or behind this feeling of opposition, there is something deeper. So it may not be just one sanskar, it may be layers and layers of sanskars. So for instance, say you are anxious. Hmm. Now if you are anxious and you notice that you are becoming anxious. Now if you ask yourself, why are you anxious? You may say, you know, you may be able to analyze and see that when you don't have time, you have to go to the workplace and you have to deal with this at home and uh, how will you manage? That may be a source of anxiety. Mm -hmm. and, but everybody doesn't get anxious in such situations. So something you have assumed you know, about this particular situation that is leading to that anxiety. So on the surface, there is anxiety. On the surface, there is a feeling of opposition or whatever it may be. Behind that feeling of opposition, there may be some insecurity. Mm. When we are trying to dominate over the other. So there may be insecurity behind that. So in fact, if you notice Fear. Mm -hmm. Fear about something. You know, fear about the future mm -hmm. may lead to anxiety yeah. in one person. Fear about you know um, the future may lead to feeling of opposition in another. You know? mm -hmm when we are trying to dominate. So, like that, you will notice that behind the feeling, there is some assumption. Then that assumption, when you go to check, you might find that behind that, there is some deeper assumption and like that. So, like how we, you know, peel an onion, you find one layer, then you mm. peel it. On the surface, there is something, then you peel that, Below that, there is something else. You peel that, there is something else. You peel that, and so on. So, mm. it's a long journey. And mm. I would say, you know, uh, for all of us, we can start noticing few things. And sometimes mm. we are able to see some of the superficial sanskars. But, you know, that's not reason for us to stop there because something deeper will be there below that which is leading to that superficial sanskar and so on. So I just wanted to um, clarify a little bit for everybody uh, so that we are aware of this. And when you, you know, 
like you mentioned for your daughter when you used to tell her don't do this or don't do that there was opposition from the other side mm. but if we notice that many of us as parents we keep telling our children what not to do mm. rather than focusing on what can be done yeah yeah so as you rightly mentioned you know when you give it in the form of a proposal that perhaps you can do this mm. rather than perhaps don't do this yeah this is what i'm saying yeah. so even the proposal is solution centric hmm so we are giving some option for solution otherwise hmm. a proposal is you know if you are again saying in the proposal perhaps you should not do this hmm. again it is like a complaint hmm so you know against the other person that you are not doing this the way you should mm. so, so um if we can look at the solution centric thing like for instance you know when we are teaching mm. if a student uh, says you know the class is like this or it it's not right or uh, what you are saying doesn't make sense and all of that now sometimes we may get disturbed we may get upset that this mm. person is not listening or whatever mm. but if the student says i am not able to understand and uh, could you put it in another way now you don't have any problem with it isn't it mm. so it is an expression of our understanding or lack of understanding so when we are able to see that then we can see for ourselves also that this mm. feeling within me is not right and now how can i put forward a solution as a proposal for the other to accept or not to accept mm. and as you rightly mentioned if you are comfortable with that once you are able to see that the, it is the other's lack of competence not the intention then mm. you become calm and you become comfortable and you are able to do this many times that is highly commendable and i'm sure that you are experiencing the happiness also yeah. with that a uh, little bit i just wanted to mention about the feeling hmm. so when we say you know i can see my desire i can see my thought i can see my feeling i can see my expectation you said in this sequence hmm. so you will notice that every desire is already associated with the feeling Mm-hmm. so when we say feeling mm-hmm. it is linked to some desire so you can identify mm-hmm. the desire with the feeling mm-hmm. so like that when we look at each step we will notice that each time we do the exercises we will be able to see a little more depth in it mm-hmm. and this is for everybody mm-hmm. and that's why um doing it once or twice may not be sufficient we mm. may need to do this again and again so that we get better and better at the observation that we can observe for more and more you know time during the day and also we are able to see more depth in whatever we are observing also so for example when you said you know i can observe the lower back is in disharmony so if if you see what you are able to observe initially mm-hmm. perhaps is the sensation no? mm-hmm. so you may be able to notice the sensation mm-hmm. of pain in fact it is a sensation that you are giving the meaning pain pain then if you look at the pain also you are giving the meaning that there is disharmony mm mm-hmm. 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 then you associate that with some other meaning why did that disharmony come about then you can mm-hmm. notice that this is what caused the disharmony and like that so the observation part may be just this and then slowly you are able to notice further mm-hmm. you know the more depth mm-hmm. um, initially you just read the sensation 
then you hmm. observe deeper 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 then you come to the disharmony hmm. or disharmony because of such and such thing and hmm. so on no? so how we give meaning hmm. so hmm. even when you say i have the feeling that i am correct hmm. hmm. so hmm. is it a feeling or you know you are able to notice that earlier you thought like this Hmm. And behind hmm. that, there was some feeling. Behind that feeling, there is some assumption. Hmm. No? Many assumptions may be there in layers. Hmm. Those are the hmm. sanskar. So like that, I just wanted to draw attention that, but that will come. The hmm. more subtle, the more fine things, as we see more and more, we'll be able to see. Since you are able to see so much, so I was wanting to mention this as hmm. in further exploration. So all the very best to you. Thank you. And very nice uh, sharing. We look forward to your continued participation in the sessions. Yeah, sure. Didi. So all the very best. Thank you, Didi. Thank you very much for your guidance, Didi.